Hi everyone, hello. And from NK Immersive Media, this is Nico Kutch. Today I'll be showing you the process from a 2D architecture drawing into the 3D world help with the help of SketchUp Pro. Here you can see the finished SketchUp 3D drawing. From an architecture visualization process perspective, this is not yet complete. The 3D rendering will be done next, either using V-Ray, 3ds Max, Corona, Lumion and Trace, Twinmotion, Unreal Engine, or whatever you prefer. But we will not be using any of those tools for this video. Today, our focus is on SketchUp. So, what we how we normally do this is we pretty much just launch into SketchUp. We select a template. But before we go ahead, we need to choose a 2D architectural drawing for inspiration and or if you wish to copy it like for like, you can do that as well. So there's many, many choices here. Once you find the model you wish to work from, you simply download it. It's free. So no hassle and no fuss. Thank you to the dwgmodels.com. Next, we head back to SketchUp and we hit import. In SketchUp, you can select many different files to import. So we can go ahead and find our model that we downloaded from dwgmodels.com and simply import it. Now, there are many different ways to start the process of building a 3D model. I prefer to just outline the model and create a 3D cube out of it and etch away at it. Again, you can start creating each individual wall individually or, or you can do what I do, which is pretty much sketch the outline of all the brick and mortar and then raise it up to the height that I wish to work from and then start creating the doors and the windows. Now, uh, once you start creating the doors and the windows, SketchUp is really, really easy with that. It's a matter of just using the pencil or the rectangle, highlighting the face, and then simply deleting it. Now, if you will delete the section, you can also create um, an offset to make it more realistic. So you can have lines within lines. You can do this for all the windows and all the doors. There are many materials to choose from. So you can select the window material and add the glass. It only is a few clicks away. Once again, SketchUp make it really, really easy to do this. If you wish to create stairs of your own, you can do this with precision. This is when you take the tape measure out. This gives you that extra layer of accuracy. Or you can head over to the 3D warehouse that SketchUp provides, select windows, stairs, or whatever you wish. All of this is free. So thank you SketchUp Pro for having that for us. Next, you can use the copy array option to copy multiple objects. I use this quite a lot and so will you. You can also use the amazing follow me tool to create complicated piping and or roofing details that just, just need to be repeated in across a variety of different patterns. This can normally take you forever to do, but using Follow Me in SketchUp and given SketchUp's layout for usability, it makes it so much easier. You can create interesting patterns and designs, such as these holes and roofing detail. And also, once you are complete and happy with your design, you can try out the new ambience options to see how the finished product looks like. So there's a few options here for you to visualize your model. Now it's ready to be imported into our rendering tool of choice. That's it folks. Uh, see you on the other side. And uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, go and check my Udemy course on Unreal Engine and stand by for the newest course on architectural visualization using the process SketchUp to Unreal Engine. So long and keep creating. Bye for now.